Hey everyone, it's Liz from Thrust Flight. I'm the Chief Flight Instructor here, and today we're gonna learn how to use the Navigation Plotter. I'm gonna show you how to plot a course on the sectional chart and the other features here, how to measure the course heading and the distance for the course you plot. So let's go ahead and get started. So I need two tools to accomplish this. I need my plotter, which you can see has the straight edge as well as the protractor here on top. I also need a sectional chart. So we'll start by identifying our airport and the airport we're gonna fly to. So today, let's say we're flying over here to Winsboro, Foxtrot 51. I'm gonna draw my flight path in between those two airports. I'm crossing through mostly Echo and Golf airspace, so I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a straight line. Who doesn't love to get there the quickest way? Okay, so I'm gonna take my navigation plotter, Addison Airport, and my destination, Winsboro Airport, and then I'm gonna use a pencil or a marker and draw my course right there using the straight edge of the ruler. So now you can see this is my flight path headed directly from Addison to Winsboro. So that's the first use for this is I've got a straight edge ruler. If we wanted to know how many miles this flight path would be, I can use the bottom ruler portion of my plotter to figure that out. So you wanna be really careful here. If you look on your plotter, it's gonna tell you there's a couple different scales for that ruler. And this is a really common place where students make a mistake. So we wanna make sure we're on the side that matches the same chart we're using. So I'm using a sectional chart. So I wanna have the sectional scale ruler on the front side. If I flip this over, it says it's a WAC scale. Basically, it's the world area chart scale, which is one to one million, and I want it one to 500,000 instead. So I'd be measuring the wrong amount of miles. Some plotters also have a TAC scale, which is the terminal area chart. Again, totally different scale or conversion. So make sure it's on the sectional side. I'm gonna put zero miles on my airport, and I can see here at the end, it looks like Winsboro is 79 miles. So my total flight path would be 79 miles from Addison to Winsboro, okay? The next thing that this tool can help me figure out is what direction to fly to get here. So eyeballing it, I can see it looks almost directly eastbound, right? A 090 heading. So I'm gonna prove that with the top portion here of my plotter or the protractor piece. So what we're supposed to do is now take the top edge of my plotter and place that on my course line. There's a small hole, if you can see it, they call it a grommet, that I'm supposed to place right on that course line and also where a line of longitude intersects it. So let me show you how to do that. So here I place the top edge on my course line and then I'm gonna slide the ruler right or left to intersect a longitude line. So here's a line of longitude. I'm gonna have that come right underneath that center point. So here I'm gonna slide it now I've got longitude coming right through my center hole, and I've got the course line intersecting it in the other direction, okay? Okay, now I can see by using this longitude line exactly which course I need to be flying, which in this case it would be 090 perfectly on. I can show you a different example. Let's say our course line is headed a different direction, right? Let's use this one. Now we're flying a little bit more northeast, right? So let me take this plotter. I'm gonna put the top edge of the ruler on the course line, and I'm gonna slide this hole or the grommet, right, until it intersects a line of longitude. So I've got one right here that comes down. So let me slide this until they're both intersecting. I've got it nice and straight. And I read using the line of longitude exactly what course I should fly. So as I come up here, it says I should be flying a 041 heading. So that's the course I would need to fly, the true course from Addison would be a 041 to get there. And that's how I measure the course. There's one other inner ruler here that you wanna use if you need to use a line of latitude. So let's say our flight goes directly north-south. We'll use another example here, here we go. Okay, so for this example, I've drawn a course from Addison to North Texas Regional Airport. It's almost directly north, and my flight path never crosses a line of longitude. So how could I possibly measure what direction to fly if I can't ever make it intersect a line of longitude like we've been talking about? That's what this small inner scale is for here. I can use a line of latitude also to figure this out. So we start the same way. I put the top edge of the ruler on my flight path, and then I take the grommet, and this time I'm gonna have it intersect a line of latitude instead. So I'm gonna slide it up like this, 
I wanna make sure I'm still aligned. And here I've got a line of latitude that's coming through, and I'm gonna use a small inner scale to see which course we should be flying. And it says I should be flying a 008 degree, and that would be the true course from Addison to North Texas Regional. So be really careful with that. I'm gonna use this top outer scale when I'm using lines of longitude, and this small inner scale if I use a line of latitude. And that's how to use a plotter. So that wraps up today's video on how to use a plotter. We hope you enjoyed it. If you've got questions, leave us a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.